As I sit here on the back of this 2021 Honda Ridgeline RTLE, one thing is for sure. If you scour the comments on this video, you're going to find people who say, it's not a truck. And it's a very interesting subject because I noticed that when people talk about the fact that they believe the Ridgeline is not a truck, they tend to turn their caps lock on and leave their comments after doing so. So my question is this, why do so many people believe the Ridgeline is not really a truck? After all, this is what a truck is defined as being. A large, heavy motor vehicle used for transporting goods, materials, or troops. Well, you know, I think the Ridgeline can do all of those things. It is a, well, somewhat large, heavy motor vehicle. It doesn't say exactly what the heavy is. Is it 2,000 pounds? Is it 4,000 pounds? Is it 10,000 pounds? Well, all kidding aside, it's a very interesting subject, but regardless of whether people like it or not, this is the Honda Ridgeline and it is a truck. The 2021 Honda Ridgeline comes in four available trim levels, Sport, RTL, RTLE, which is what we are looking at in today's video, and of course the Black Edition. Base pricing ranges from $36,490 up to $43,920. The Ridgeline in today's Vehicle Visionary video features an exterior color of radiant red metallic. For 2021, exterior changes can be seen from the windshield forward and feature a more boxy look to make the Ridgeline look more like a truck as opposed to looking much like the Pilot SUV. While many may stand firm in saying the Ridgeline is not a truck, it does have advantages over much of its competition. This includes great ride quality and handling. Thanks to independent rear suspension, the spacious cab offers plenty of room and is very comfortable. In addition to exterior styling changes for 2021, the Ridgeline features a new rear bumper with dual exhaust, an updated infotainment system, along with the addition of a physical knob for controlling radio-related functions and the new aesthetics package from Honda Performance Development. And under the hood of this Ridgeline, you'll find the standard engine that is a 3.5 liter V6. And one thing that's interesting here, you'll notice the air ducts right here on each side of the front end. Those are active, allowing air to pass through instead of having to work its way over the bumper. That cuts down on drag. That helps increase gas mileage. 18 miles per gallon estimated city, 24 out on the highway. But of course, as always, I'm curious. If you own a Ridgeline, whether it's the 2021 or maybe an older model, tell me what kind of MPGs you have been getting. When it comes to a multitasking feature, well, there's more than one here with the Ridgeline. So as you can see, like a typical truck, it has the fold down tailgate. But I like the fact that you can also swing this tailgate open very easily. That helps for a multitude of things, including using the multitasking bed trunk right here as part of the bed, something you won't see on other trucks. And the reason I say it's a multitasker, you can just store whatever you want to in there, such as the owner of this particular model has done, or there are partitions you can set up and basically you could dump ice down in there and have drinks in one area, snacks in another, whatever, or you can take those out and just have one huge bed of ice with drinks and whatever you want down there. And when you're finished with that, the convenience is that there is a drain plug down here that makes it very easy to drain the water once all that ice has melted. Now, one thing that also is very helpful in being able to swing the tailgate out is getting to where the spare tire is located, basically under the bed, kind of between the bed and the frame itself of the truck. And I'll show you on a different model just because it wasn't as easy to do here. I don't want to move a bunch of stuff out, but you can slide that out and there's actually areas where you can set that down that are meant to hold that in place, making it easy to get to the spare tire and all the tools to change that. And of course, something else that's nice about the way the Ridgeline is set up, you don't have those large fender wells protruding into the bed like you do in pretty much every other truck on the road. That means if you want to spend a fortune, at least right now, hopefully that will change one day and maybe you're buying some sheets of plywood, 
you could fit more back here than you can in a lot of other trucks just because of the space that you have with the width of the bed. Actually, you can use that more effectively than you could in other models. And of course, if it really matters to somebody, just like other trucks on the market, you have a power sliding rear window. And besides having an overall roomy interior here in the Ridgeline, there is something interesting and nobody has ever been able to answer this question in my previous Honda videos where I asked, which was, what other model of vehicle has a similar shifter to the push button shifter that you will find not only here in the Ridgeline, but in other Honda models as well? The surprising answer, I asked for it, nobody was ever able to give it is the C8 Corvette. It's not identical, but it is very similar. Every time I see one or the other, well, it just makes me think of a Honda or a C8 Corvette. And something else that's cool about the shifter here is that while this is not something that's out of the ordinary, it's not unique to Honda, but it is nice to know that it's here. Let's just say the driver's in a rush maybe, and before they hit the park button right here, truck's still in drive, and they hit the start stop button and turn the engine off, the transmission will automatically shift into park. The same thing will happen when you open the driver's side door. So a very interesting feature to say the least. And of course, the overall roominess, not only here in the front, but also in the rear, very comfortable, plenty of space for driver and passengers. I really wonder sometimes, if this is the most underrated truck on the market today. One thing is for sure, cars and trucks are constantly evolving. And when we do see a full refresh of the Ridgeline, what is it that you as the consumer would like to see? You never know who's reading the comments from Honda who can say, oh, maybe that's something we can incorporate. You may actually see it in future generations of the Ridgeline. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, make sure to check out another video that is on the screen right now. And I greatly appreciate you for giving me the time to give you a vision for your next vehicle. I'll see you in my next video.